Hey, it's Andy with the Mandel team, and I'm here to bring you your December 2023 housing market update. As always, for the purposes of these videos, we're gonna be talking about single family homes only, no condos, no townhouses. We're talking about these homes in Boca, Parkland, and Coral Springs. Those are the areas where our team does the predominant amount of our business, and we're not talking about country clubs or 55 and over. So all ages, you know, normal communities that everyone could buy into. So the first stat we like to look at is the number of new listings hitting the market. This is the supply. So real estate's all about supply and demand. In Boca, the number of new listings last month compared to the same month last year was up 20%. Parkland was actually down 14%, so fewer homes hitting the market in Parkland. And Coral Springs, it was up 23%. The next stat we like to look at is the demand or the pending sales. How many homes were coming off the market and going under contract? That was down 12% on average across all three cities. So depending on the city, if supply is up, and demand is down, that's gonna put downward pressure on prices. Conversely, in Parkland, you know, supply and demand are both down, but they're down about the same, so that's gonna be more of a neutral market. The next stat we like to look at is the number of days on market. That is 22 days on average. That's down from 32 days this time last year. So homes are selling a little bit faster than they were this time last year. The next stat we like to look at is the close price to original list price. What percentage off the list price are buyers able to negotiate? On average, that's 95.8% across all three cities. So buyers are able to negotiate a little more than 4% off of the list price. The next stat we like to look at is months supply of inventory. Boca is at 4.14 months. Parkland is at 0.19 months and Coral Springs is at 2.48 months. So they say a balanced market is when there's five to six months of inventory. Anything less than that is a seller's market. Anything more is a buyer's market. But these neighborhoods, these communities are starting to feel much more like a buyer's market. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of seasonality that comes into play this time of year. The market typically slows down as we get into the winter months, especially November, December, January, but it usually picks up again as we get into the, you know, the end of January, February, and the spring selling season. But right now, Boca has four months of inventory. That's more inventory than I've seen in quite a long time in any of these cities around here. That's definitely reaching much more closer to a more neutral market than a seller's market. So not at a buyer's market yet, but much closer to one that I've seen in quite a while. Parkland still very much a seller's market at 0.19 months of inventory. That's less than one week of inventory at the current pace of sales. Coral Springs, 2.48 getting closer to a neutral market. We were at about one month or below in all these cities at the height of the pandemic when the market was just really crazy. So we're definitely kick, ticking up there as far as you know, how long it's taken to sell a house and are we in a buyer's market or a seller's market? It's much closer to a buyer's market now than I've seen in a while. So what does this mean? Buyers, right now you're able to negotiate a much better deal because especially this time of year, like we talked about with seasonality, the market's slowing. I think that's gonna change as we enter the spring market. Last year, you know, I had a, We'll call it a panic attack in January of 2023, saying, oh, we're never gonna sell another house again. The market's so slow. By the third week in January, coming into February, the market really picked up again. It's just seasonality. We kind of forgot what that was like when the market was so crazy during the pandemic every single month, every single day. But that's kind of what we're seeing right now. It's a slower time of year for the market. So if you're a buyer, take advantage of that right now. Sellers are motivated. I'm seeing right now, they're willing to you know, negotiate on the price. They're paying for you know, interest rate buy downs to make it more affordable for you. There's a lot more flexibility for buyers right now, but I don't think that's gonna last you know, forever. I definitely think as we get into the spring, some of that negotiating power buyers have is going to go away when more buyers do come back into the market naturally because of seasonality. Also over the last three to four weeks, We've seen interest rates come down about a full percent. So right now our lenders quoting rates at less than 7%. So once the seasonality picks back in, buyers naturally come back into the market because of the time of year and more and more people realize that rates are back into the sixes from the eights where they had heard on the news just a couple weeks ago, more buyers are gonna come back into this market. They say that for every 1% that rates go down, about 5 million more buyers across America become eligible to buy a house. So we're gonna start seeing that and it's gonna make the market more competitive in my opinion come the springtime. Sellers, what does this mean for you? Well, I do expect the market to strengthen as we get into the new year, but I don't think prices are going to explode like they did in 2021. I think we're gonna see a normal level of appreciation on the year, around 4% by the end of 2024. So prices are going to remain solid and they're going to increase slightly. That's historically average. That's where prices normally have been. I don't think we're gonna have this crazy, crazy seller's market again. So if you're considering putting your home on the market, this is the year to do it. If you've been putting it off because of rates, rates have come down. You can make this move. You just have to be accurate with your pricing. 
Buyers don't want to overpay for properties right now. They're very cautious about what they're buying. If you're overpriced even by a little bit, the property sits on the market for a while. So price your property correctly, hire a real estate team like ours who's going to market your property correctly. And I promise you'll still be able to get top, top dollar for your property. So if you have any questions on the housing market here in South Florida, don't hesitate to reach out. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Always remember, we got your back when moving in South Florida.